Hi guys, JT here and I'm bringing you my top 10 list of multiplayer games that you can buy for cheap in a 2022 Steam Summer Sale. If you want to be in a know about daily game deals and bundles, do click the subscribe button. So let's get into this. At number 10, we have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege is a tactical 5v5 attackers versus defenders multiplayer game. You play as an operator with set skills based on your class, working together with your teammates to complete your objective, either to attack or defend against the opposing party. What makes Rainbow Six Siege different is its emphasis on tactical choices with your class picks and also teamwork. At number 9, we have The Elder Scrolls Online, an MMORPG centered around the Elder Scrolls universe. Venture through the various Elder Scrolls worlds as you spend hundreds of hours taking on quests, going through dungeons with your friends, collecting loot and slaying various monsters and creatures. If you're into MMORPGs with tons of content to play even for its base game, fun PvE and PvP, then this is a game for you. At number 8, we have It Takes Two. Test your co-op skills with your partner as you navigate through a supersized world to get home from your garden shed. What makes It Takes Two so special is its various gameplay sections that you go through with your partner. One minute you may be shooting arrows on walls for your partner to swing on and the next you're fighting a squirrel on top of a plane while your partner pilots it. Coupled with a story, It Takes Two is definitely one to pick up for some cooperative fun. Number 7, we have Risk of Rain 2, an action roguelike that puts you on an alien planet with everything trying to murder you. Shoot your way through the game with your friends, collecting loot all the while trying to survive and getting the hell out of there. This game is highly addictive with its roguelike gameplay and loot system, I would highly recommend if you're into this particular gameplay loot. You'll find yourself only wanting to play for a couple of matches, only to find yourself still playing the next morning. At number 6, we have Deep Rock Galactic, a cooperative action shooter that pits you and your dwarven friends against alien bugs in a mine. Go through the caverns, killing bugs as you complete objectives or your greedy corporate overlords. There is a great progression system allowing you to customize your dwarf the way you like it. This ranges from looks through to weapons, armors, and skill upgrades which you can buy with cash that you have mined from the caverns. I would recommend this game if you're into FPS cooperative PvE shooters and the freedom of character customization. 5. We have Valheim, an open world survival craft where you build a life for yourself in the mythic Norse world. Bring along 9 other friends of yours and survive together, building houses, farms, then moving on to killing trolls and fighting the bosses of each area. I would recommend this game if you're wanting to spend hours building a life outside of Earth and you're into exploring and fighting big-ass challenging monsters with your friends. At number 4, we have For Honor, a third-person action sword-fighting, face-bashing, skull-crushing multiplayer game. Choose from 30 customizable warriors ranging from knights to samurais. There are a variety of modes to play in with a deep swordplay combat system to keep you coming back for more. If you're wanting to experience being in a sword fight with another human being but you don't want to actually lose an arm or a neck, then For Honor is definitely a game for you. At number 3, we have Phasmophobia, a 4-player co-op psychological horror game where you play as a ghost hunter. You can't bust them like the Ghostbusters, your job is to collect evidence with handy equipment that the ghost exists and find out exactly what it is. Then jump into your van and get the heck out of there. There aren't any jump scares but the environment which ranges from a school to an insane asylum is enough to scare the shit out of you. Coupled with VR, you'll be in a scare of your life. I would recommend this game if you're wanting to live your childhood dream of being a ghost hunter. At number 2, we have Raft, a new survival craft game that has just been released. It pits you and your friends in the middle of the ocean with just a wooden raft. Then you build this raft into a floating fortress, all the while exploring the world, eating, drinking to stay alive, collecting loot along the way, discovering islands, exploring some more, collecting more loot to build your floating fortress with your friends. I would recommend this game if you find satisfaction in seeing something grow from a couple of wooden planks into a literal floating fortress, while collecting loot and surviving. And finally at number 1 we have 
Dead by Daylight, an extremely popular multiplayer horror game that pits players against each other in a 4v1 situation, where one plays the killer and the others the survivors. The goal of this game depends on which side you're playing on, the survivors needing to turn generators on to open an escape path and the killer finding and disrupting set survivors to kill them and sacrifice them in hooks. You can play as popular characters from movies and games like Stranger Things and Resident Evil. I would recommend this game if you're looking for an enjoyable and thrilling multiplayer horror game. And that is all for today, folks. I want to know what games have you seen on Steam that interests you in the summer sale. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy my content and want to be on the know about daily game deals and bundles, then smash the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video.